Let's jump on another Cubase Q&A video. Hey, what's going on, my friend? Chris here from Mixdown Online. I hope you're doing good. Okay, now uh, I'm going to answer a quick question that I uh, received a couple days ago. Uh, but first, if you're new here on the channel, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss anything. And for all of you, you guys know the drill, share and like if you think that the video is helpful. Okay, so now let's look at this question. Hello, Chris, is there a way to writing down automation like this in Cubase without the use of Vocal Writer. Now, this question is referring to a video that I uh, released uh, not more than a week ago about uh, working with Vocal Writer in Cubase. So if you want to watch this video, I'm going to leave the link on top and down below. Um, so now, Vocal Writer is basically a plugin that will ride the volume, the fader of your vocal or the pre-gain level of your vocal automatically, okay, within the plugin itself. Um, so now the question is about how we can do the same type of job without the use of Vocal Writer. All right, so now I'm gonna answer your question directly in Cubase by showing you some very cool stuff that you can do manually to automate uh, the gain of your channel. And I'm also gonna show you how you can use quick controls to automate your gain level using a MIDI controller. So let's jump in. So, okay, I'm gonna use the same track um, that I used on this video. Uh, first, the way I uh, work with uh, Vocal Writer when I use it, because I don't use it all the time, I only use it when I'm uh, dealing with a very super dynamic vocal, and that is gonna be faster to use the plugin instead of doing things manually like I'm gonna show you. In this case, if I look at my vocal, it is pretty much stable, uh, dynamically speaking, uh, but except to that part uh, right here, okay, which I'm gonna work on uh, manually. So there are several ways you can do this in Cubase if you wanna gain stage your vocal um, before your signal hits the plugins. And this is how I use Vocal Writer anyways. Now the first option we have here in Cubase is to use what we call Clip Gain. So Clip Gain is just uh, simply by selecting an audio event, uh, just to drag it down, to drag the gain down. You can do that directly from that event itself by just clicking uh, at the center, you'll see a small square right here, and that will just bring, uh, and by bring that square down, it will, it's gonna bring the gain of that event, okay? So this is one way you can, uh, you can gain stage that event or, um, or just uh, the, uh, play with your gain directly from that audio event itself. Okay, so this is one way you can do it. Now, um, in this case, what I just did is to lower that entire audio event, but let's say I, I just wanna lower only part of that, uh, that audio event. So one thing I can do is to basically just split a few, uh, split that event into several events where I am gonna just uh, turn down what is louder, okay? So uh, let's go with this and this. And uh, okay, I'm gonna start with this for now, select those, actually only those two, bring them down a bit, and maybe this one just a bit. So that's one way you can do it. So let's have a quick listen here. Okay, that is way better. So let's listen to what it sounded like before. Okay, um, you know, those two words especially are louder than everything else. So that is one way that you can balance that out before uh, you, you have that signal going into all the compression and stuff, you know. Compression is going to take care of uh, the general dynamics of what's left uh, of that vocal, you know, because um, that is still a bit dynamic, but, you know, not as bad as what we have here. So that part is what I'm going to work on before the compression is going to work on the rest. So this way I'm going to avoid avoid over compressing my signal. Um, so, all right, so now there's another way you can um, turn those parts down is by using the pen tool. 
uh, directly on the audio event itself. Okay, so I'm let's say I'm just going to uh, bring that uh, that part down. I'm just going to click on top, and note that bringing uh, using that pen tool is only going to lower that uh, those waveforms, okay? And not bringing higher than the limit of uh, what you get with your audio event, okay? Because right now, my audio event, if I click on that square in the middle, we, uh, we're at uh, 0.71 dB. So I cannot just increase the level of the, that part of the signal higher than 0.71 dB in this case, okay? By using the pen. I can do so with clip gain itself, but you know, but not by using the pen tool. So this is just something to remember. Uh, but to bring down some uh, some stuff, it's uh, it's a very good tool. So I can just draw that down without having to cut, you know, all the uh, all of that event into several uh, several pieces. Okay, so that's another way I can do it. And let's have a quick listen. Okay, so you know you get the idea. So this is another way you can uh, work on your gain staging, you know, directly from an audio event without having to split them into several events and then clip uh, clipping them down, which also works very well. Okay, so those are the two ways you can do it directly from an audio event itself. Something else that you can do is you can automate your gain your pre-gain parameter in Cubase. Now, when I'm talking about pre-gain, I'm talking about uh, the level of the signal before hitting the inserts, okay, and all the processing. So I'm going to open my channel settings window, and I have right here at the bottom the pre-gain knob, okay, and that will bring up and down the pre-gain level of the entire channel and not in only one part. But what I can do is to automate this so it just affects only one part of, um, of the performance, okay, so like I'm going to do here. So I can do this manually to start with, so I I'm just going to make sure that my automation lane is open and I'm going to look for the pre-gain parameter. Now, by default, uh, when I open my automation lane, I'm going to see volume. The volume uh, parameter is the one that is set up by default. Now, I'm going to click there and I'm going to go down to more and then I'm going to click on input filter and I'm going to look for pre-gain. So this is one way you can find that, uh, that parameter and select it directly on the, uh, the automation lane. Something else that you can also do is just to activate the right on your track and start doing some automation by moving that knob. All right, and if I go back to my automation lane and I click on volume, that pre-gain uh, is going to be right on top. So you don't, you won't have to go down and look for it. Okay, so there you go. It's right there. So I'm just going to remove what I did here and uh, do it manually. So let's just erase what we did with uh, the pen tool and do it manually. Okay, so I'm going to just select my range selection tool and just bring down those, uh, uh, those loud parts just a bit. Now, as you can tell, though, it is not going to change the waveform opposed to uh, when we did it directly on uh, the audio event. Okay, now it's a matter of balancing that out to your taste. Okay, so that is one way you can actually automate your pre-gain uh, pre parameter directly on the track. Now, something you can also do is to use a MIDI controller. And uh, let me check here. Something like this, you know. Um, this is uh, the Nano Control 2 which is only a controller, okay, that you can use to, uh, with the VST quick controls in Cubase, to control some parameters of Cubase, uh, which is practical, okay? Um, now, I'm gonna use, in my case for this uh, video, I'm gonna use the MPD 
218, which is a drum pad um, that has some knobs here that I'm going to use to control my volume of uh, the volume of the channel and also the pre-gain knob. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on uh, Studio Setup right on top by clicking on Studio and then down to Studio Setup, and I'm going to click on Track Quick Controls. Um, now, this is what I'm going to see. I'm going to select my MIDI controller. Now, you can use whatever you have. Um, a lot of times with a regular keyboard MIDI controller, you'll have some knobs on top, some faders or just uh, simple knobs. You can use those to uh, control some plugins or to control some parameters like I'm going to show you today. Uh, so to do so, first you need to select the controller of your choice. And uh, then you click on Learn and we, we are gonna assign those knobs to uh, those several quick controls. We have eight, okay? So I'm gonna choose the first six because I only have six knobs on my MIDI controller. So I'm gonna select the first the quick control and uh, I'm gonna make sure my uh, learn is uh, checked on and I'm gonna move the first knob. Now, as you can see, the MIDI address has, has changed to three. I'm gonna now select the second one and do the same touch, the second knob, and so on. So I'm gonna do this to all my knobs of my controller so I can assign them to the correct quick control. And then I'm gonna click on OK. Uh, but just before, let me explain to you what is the pickup mode. Uh, basically, I don't need it with this controller because those, knob, uh, those knobs are, um, they have like infinite re an infinite reach. Basically, they don't have a physical limit. But if I'm using this one, for example, as you can tell, there's a reach limit. Okay, uh, from the left side to the right side of the knob. So in this case, I would check that option on. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna click on OK. And then I'm gonna select my audio track I wanna work on. And I'm gonna make sure the quick, uh, the quick controls is active. Now, if you don't see quick controls on the left zone, just click on setup and make sure quick controls is checked on and you will see the quick controls tab on your left zone. Um, and now I'm just gonna select pre-gain. It's, uh, it's a very easy reach. You click on the first quick control and you go down to input filter and there you go, pre-gain is right here. Um, let's go and select also volume, which is the, the one on top, and this is gonna control the, uh, the fader of your channel, basically. So if you wanna automate the level of your channel, you know, like I always do near the end of my mix. Um, this is the time I'm gonna do some automation uh, directly on the faders. Now, um, using a controller can make your life easier, you know, uh, to do some automation, some fader automation. So in that case, uh, you're gonna have to select volume, okay? But now we're gonna work on the pre-gain one to start with. Um, and now I'm gonna make sure they are active. I'm gonna move my first knob and there you go. Now this first knob of my controller is controlling the pre-gain level. I'm just gonna go uh, directly on the channel settings window and you can see that pre-gain is moving. So that's good. Um, and same for if I wanna use my volume, I'm just gonna move the second one because this command is assigned to the second knob. And there you go, you see my uh, fader moving. So very cool. Um, so now from that point on, I just activate the right on my channel and start doing some automation. Let me just erase that and start over again. I don't know if we will find truth before we cross the line in this new And then it's a matter of fine-tuning manually if you want to. You know, so this is another way you can uh, automate your pre-gain level by using a MIDI controller, okay, which is pretty cool. And you can also do the same, like I was saying, um, by controlling the main fader of your channel. Now, something you can do if uh, you're planning on using those commands often, you can just save, uh, save them as a preset by clicking on the preset management and then the save preset. I'm gonna name this one to uh, pre-gain and uh, fader, there you go. Okay, I'm gonna click on OK. So let's say, for example, I select uh, this track. I can just load my preset 
pre-gain fader. And there you go. Now my knob is going to control the gain of this channel or the volume of this channel. There you go. So there you go. Not too complicated. Now you have a basic look of the quick controls in Cubase to control uh, the pre-gain level and also your regular fader. So there you go, my friend. I hope that was helpful. I hope it answers your question. Now, if you have any other questions or comments about uh, mixing, mastering, recording, music production, and so on, you can leave everything down below. All right, I'm gonna say take care, stay safe, and see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>